Hey guys, what's up? Russ here, and today I'm bringing you the rest of my comic collection. I've been doing this series. I've done Superman, Batman, X-Men, Spider-Man, Aquaman, uh, see, Hulk, Fantastic Four, Punisher, my Amalgam collection, and now I'm bringing you the rest of my comic collection. All these videos are in a playlist on my channel if you want to go back and check them out. It, it's covering the entire collection as a whole, and I'm going to finish it off today. I'm starting with my newest pickup. I found this at the LCS recently. I'm currently trying to get all the DC Marvel crossovers. And like I said, I've got the Amalgam set, so now I'm working on some of the others. It's Batman Captain America. Alright, next up we got Titans number one. This came in a DC Legion of Collectors box, and it's just a reprint of the first Titans book with a new cover. And I think it's a wraparound, but it's got a card. I've never opened it. We've got Titans issue 21. Teen Titans Rebirth number one. These aren't in any kind of order, once again. It's just sort of random. We've got Titans Sellout, Issue 1. We've got New Titans, Issue 100. Nice shiny cover. We've got Teen Titans 19, part of the Millennial Giant storyline that uh, retconned Superman back to the original look from the red and blue electric look. And before I move on to the next... Let me take you guys for a ride. Up here, I've got Teen, the new Teen Titans issue 39. It was one of my Grail books, and it was gifted to me by the awesome Lindsay, formerly known as Geeked Out Knickknacks, and geeky, known as Geeky Lindsay on Instagram. All right, we got Smallville Chaos number one. Number two, number three, and number four. Now we're going into some Trinity here. We've got issue 17 and issue 33. We got Supergirl issue 20, again part of the Millennial Giant storyline. We got Superman Bug and Bugs Bunny issue 4. got Year One Doomsday. It's an annual from 95. We've got Superman the Man of Steel Gallery. This is just like just a bunch of random posters in the book. I might include some pictures of those at the end. Still number one. And still number 50. Big jump in that story. <laughs> that run. Got Eradicator number one. Got the Kents. I believe this is issue one of a 12 issue miniseries. Got some old school Superboy here with issue 44. And issue 15, even older. I should have put these in order. We got Superboy number one based off the TV series. I believe from the 90s, I want to say. Yeah, it says February 1990. So, right at the end of the 80s and into the early 90s. We got Superboy Zero. Superboy issue 40. We got Superman and Batman Heroes Against Hunger. It was a promotional comic. And this is, I think this was just a one shot. It's not a particular issue. We've got Batman Superman issue, annual three rather, not issue. Then it goes to Batman Superman issue 50. Getting into some Wonder Woman. We have Wonder Woman Rebirth 1. Wonder Woman 58. 54, 
Got an awesome Jenny Frizzen cover in issue 57. And then we're going in some Art Germ Wonder Woman. Can't beat that. We got issue 65. And issue 64. Got Justice League issue 70. This is a kind of a funny story. I thought I had the entire run from the Doomsday story, the reign of Superman, the funeral for a friend, all that. But I found out when I was going through these that I'm actually missing Justice League issue 69. I don't know how that happened. I'm going to have to track that down. Got Justice League United issue 1. Nice lenticular cover. That's showing up pretty good on camera. We got Justice League Gods and Monsters issue one. Issue two. Issue three. We got Justice League 3000 issue 13. Justice League 3000 issue 12. Pretty cool booster gold and blue beetle cover. I like that. Justice League 3000 issue 6. And old school on this one. This is issue 61. Awesome cover on that. Got the heroes and villains half faced. Got Justice League 1. This is from the newest series I believe. Got issue two. Got issue three. Got issue five. Uh, I know I have issue four. It's probably mixed in here somewhere. Got Justice League International number one. Another Justice League number one. This one's from the 90s. 97, I believe. And this one I just got in an AOK -okay from uh, a good friend of mine, Roger, aka Metarog, on YouTube. It's Justice League of America, issue 258. It's part of a four part story. And I actually have issue four of that story. So, gonna be on the hunt for issues two and three. To complete the series. And this was the final Justice League. Of. Um, I don't. I, probably volume 2 I want to say. Because I don't think it was volume 1. We got Justice League Rebirth number 1. We have. Another Justice League of America. Issue 1. Probably from the, uh, it looks like it's from the New 52 era, from the way Superman, the way Superman's gear is. We have JLA issue 17. Pretty cool storyline there with Prometheus. And we have uh, Justice League issue 10. Pretty cool cover on that. And this one's actually signed. I can't remember who buy, but I felt this in the dollar bins, so who's to know if it's a legit signature or not. We have Justice League of America, issue 11, Forever Evil. And we have issue 26, Justice League. I don't remember buying that. <laughs> oh, there's issue four. Nice uh, Jim Lee cover. Give you guys a second to take that in. We have... Why in the world is this not in a... Okay, excuse me for a second. Okay, had to quickly bag and board that one. For some reason, it was not in one. JLA Incarnations, 
incarnations, however you want to pronounce it. And I'll be right back with the next stack. All right, here we go with the next stack. We got Iron Man issue 197. The Iron Man issue 241, 242, 243, 244. Then it jumps up to issue the Invincible Iron Man issue 8. I'm going to try to go through these quickly as possible. we got Silver Surfer issue 50. This is the third printing. we got Silver Surfer issue 70. We've got the Best Defense Silver Surfer issue 1. Scotty Young cover. Love his art style. We've got Silver Surfer 77. Got Silver Surfer 58. Another one of my favorite covers. Got Hulk, Neymar, Doctor Strange, Silver Surfer in Chains. Love that cover art. Got Silver Surfer issue 123. Again, this is a signed issue. Not sure who buy yet again. It was another dollar box find. got the Flash, issue 35. This is from the New 52. We got the Flash 47. We got issue 64. Going way back here with issue 186. Boy, Flash be jumping through time all the time, huh? Got issue 46. One of my favorite covers with the reverse Flash. We have Rebirth number one. And we have the Flash issue, issue 65. Jumping back in time, we have issue 6. Flash versus the Speed Demon. I believe this is our first appearance issue. I could be mistaken. We have Zero Hour, issue zero. Issue one. Unfortunately, I'm missing issue two from Zero Hour. So it goes from one to issue three. Issue four. And here's something most of you guys probably won't remember or know. It's Meteor Man. I can't remember if they did the movie first or if they did the comic series first. I'm not sure. But the movie is starring Robert Townsend. And they made the comic book accurate to the movie version. So I want to say the movie came out first. This was a six issue miniseries. And I do have all six issues. It was a Marvel comic. And in issue three, they actually did a crossover with Spider-Man, which was pretty awesome. They did a Night Thrasher in issue four. We have issue five. And the last one in the series, issue six. Okay, getting into some Daredevil. We have issue one. And issue two. And these are the only two I have from the new run. It was right around the time that I sort of fell off new comics. Started falling off them. And just focusing on the older stuff. We have Daredevil issue 19. Going way back with Daredevil issue 85. This is a pretty beat up copy. I found this years ago. And like the 50 cent bins at a flea market. We have Daredevil issue 300. Awesome kingpin cover. Got Marvel Super Action issue 1. Big premiere issue. And this is a reprint of Captain America. I want to say issue 100 if I'm not mistaken. 
wish this was the original, but eh, what are you going to do? I have Captain America issue 250, another recent dollar box find. Thought that was really cool. It had the Toys R Us shopping spree thing at the top. And yeah, we don't have Toys R Us here in the States anymore. We got Captain America issue 1. And issue 2. Captain America issue 1 from the 90s. Sentinel of Liberty. Got Captain America issue 258. Again, this is another signed copy. Some more dollar box goodness there. Got Captain America issue 306. And Captain America... Heroes Return, another signed book, double signed, that I found in the dollar box. And speaking of some signed dollar box goodness, we have a Marvel Fanfare issue 10 with a George Perez signature. Thought that was awesome. Could not believe it when I found that in the dollar box. We have Marvel Fanfare 11, Marvel Fanfare 12, and Marvel Fanfare 13, which is all part of an awesome Black Widow story. Really good read. Definitely recommend it if you can get your hands on it. I know issue 11 has been blowing up lately because of a first appearance. I couldn't tell you who the first appearance is by right now because I do not remember. <laughs> But I actually found those in the, all, all of them in the dollar boxes last year. We have a free comic book day, Avengers number one. We have Avengers number... Wow, I got old man eyes. Issue 401. This is part of the Onslaught storyline. And we have... Avengers vs. X-Men. I think that's what that stands for. <laughs> I got this in a mystery bag I picked up at a place called Ollie's. So, yeah, I'm not real sure. Have not read it yet. And getting in some Green Lantern books. We have issue 172. Got Green Lantern 50. My Green Lantern collection is some severely lacking. There's definitely some more I want to pick up. In particular, this Emerald Twilight storyline. And I also need to upgrade this issue. It's a real, it's a real beat up copy. Got Green Lantern issue 14 from the New 52. Got Mr. Miracle issue... 21, and this was part of the AOK -okay from my buddy Metarog. We got Fathom number one. We got Young Justice issue one. We got Queen Sonya issue 23. We got Hawkeye number seven. The new 52. Future's End, number 6. Trinity, Trinity of Sin, Pandora, issue 9. We got Weapon Zero, issue, I guess, 1. It says T1. But up here it says the 4th issue. <laughs> I'm not sure. We got Outcast, number 1. We've got the Incal, a free comic book day book. We've got Magnus, issue 25 it looks like. And Danger Girl number one. We've got one of my personal favorites, the A-Team issue one. Love the A-Team growing up. 
This was a loot crate, like, from, well, both of these are loot crate issues from, like, two or three years ago. Probably three years ago, I want to say. Maybe a little longer, because I started doing loot crate even before I started doing YouTube, so, yeah. <laughs> I had a six-month subscription to them. Probably a year before I started doing YouTube, so probably four years ago now. Jeez, time flies. All right. Let me chase this backing board, and I'll be right back with the next stack. All right, I've got the final stacks up here. I got a hoarse voice, and both my legs are asleep because I'm sitting on the ground. So <laughs> let's get this done. We got New Warriors issue six, issue seven, issue eight. This was a cool little run I picked up at the dollar store recently. Uh, not dollar store. The dollar boxes at my LCS recently. Got in some more Scotty Young goodness with Doctor Strange number one from the Best Defense. Neymar. And the Defenders. The Infinite Crisis number one. Love that cover art. Got some My Hero Academia. From Free Comic Book Day. Got some Stranger Things from Free Comic Book Day. Striker Force from Free Comic Book Day. Uh, some more Free Comic Book Day. Starburns. Lady Mechanica or whatever. Got some Vampirella Strikes with a photo cover. Issue 1, they have some more of the Millennial Giant storyline with Challengers of the Unknown, Issue 15, uh, Field Trip, Part 1 of 2, these next few books I picked up in, uh, at Ollie's, they were in a big mystery bag, like 10 books in each bag for $5 or something. And they had one good book on the front, and the rest of these I'd never heard of. So, yeah. That Exo Man of War, one I do know. This is issue 18. Another one of these issues, because it was a double. I was very annoyed at this mystery bag. <laughs> Another double. We have Fathom and... Katana, Katana, well, Cat Eye, whatever. I can't read. Issue 3A. Another Infinite Crisis number one. This is one of the cool ones out of that mystery bag. It's uh, Green Hornet, issue two. Really dig that cover. We got Sentinel Salvage, part two. Got Awake Zero. I'm always awake. And I don't have no idea what this book is, but it was a virgin cover out of that mystery bag. And even on the inside, I don't think it said, so, yeah. Alright, we got G.I. Joe, issue 49. We had the Legion of Superheroes, issue 300. Got an awesome, probably my all-time favorite Ghost Rider cover, issue 35. I just love that. We got issue 29 with another awesome cover going up against Wolverine. Got Secret Wars number one of eight. This was the only one I picked up, so no idea how that story went. We have Phantom Jack issue two. Ah. Got Shazam number one. Did not continue this series. I've heard mixed things about it. And I really don't know if the series is still going on, to be honest, because I have not bought a new comic book outside of Detective Comics in quite a while now. But I love that cover, so I picked it up. I have Doomsday Clock number one. Another series that I just only picked up one copy of. Or one issue of. I don't have any of the others. Got a New Warriors 10. Awesome Emma Frost cover. A 
superpowers number one. Dakota North. I know nothing about this character, but I found this in the dollar boxes at the LCS, so I picked it up. It's issue five. When I first saw it, I thought it was Black Widow, then I saw the title, so yeah, I just picked it up to give it a read, and to be honest, I never got around to reading it, so I have no idea what it's about. We have Mr. Miracle, issue 21, we have Spirits of Vengeance, number one, second printing, I believe I got this out of a Walmart pack. Have Tales to Astonish number one, or not number? I don't know. It might. Have been, I think this was a one shot. We have Power Man and Iron Fist issue seventy seven. Black Widow issue three. We have Captain Marvel issue one. Oh, this is yeah. This is the Walmart one. The long hair variant. The Mighty Crusaders number one. We have uh, Gen 13. Issue 6. We have Rocket Raccoon in group number one. The only spawn in my collection right now. Issue 289. I've been debating on if I want to pick up issue 300 or not. And to be honest, I'm not even sure if it's out yet. It may or may not be. And this is the Life of Captain Marvel number one. This was uh, also a variant edition, but this was... I don't know why they made a long hair and short hair edition. I'm not going to act like I do. I just have it. <laughs> we have Hawkman issue one. I actually heard this was a really good story, but I didn't pick up any more after the first issue. Same with Plastic Man. I heard it was really good, but I, only, I stopped with issue one. We have some old school Brave and the Bold here. Issue 56, The Flash and The Manhunter from Mars, which Martian Manhunter. Some more Brave and Bold. Issue... 72 with Flash Inspector. Got a free comic book day XO Man of War. We have a Kazar number one. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. This one has a signature on it. Picked it up in the dollar boxes. We got a free comic book day Power Rangers. Love the original Power Rangers, but I just have not picked up any of their comics. We have a Highlander number 10 and a Highlander number 9. Love that cover. Got Connor McCloud. Big Highlander fan. And we got issue 6. Let's finish it off. Alright, here we go. We got DC, Rebirth, DC Universe Rebirth number 1. We've got a TMT MT. Man, I'm tired of talking. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles TMNT issue seven. We have Hawkeye and the Winter Soldier issue 101. We have Trinity of Sid number one. I have a Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Issue 1. We have Guardians of the Galaxy Punished. It looks like they landed on a planet of the Punishers, which is just awesome. That's Issue 18, by the way. Awake. Avatars of the Blah Blah Blah. Captain Victory. Uh, Swamp Thing number one, annual number one, rather. We have Swamp Thing 12 from the New 52. Love that cover there. For those of you that have played Injustice 2, the game, 
This is actually one of Swamp Thing's skins in that game. The horns, awesome. Of Secret Empire number zero, where they tried to ruin Captain America. We have Generations number one with the Jane Foster Thor. Of Secret Empire three. Got Civil War 2, number 0. This is actually a really good issue, but it's the only one I have in this series. Scarlet Witch, number 1. We have Injustice, number 5, year 2. We have Doom, 2099. We have Wonder Man, annual issue 2. Annual issue two, annual two, okay. Words that's still polybag, by the way. I'm sniffling now. Oh, yeah, definitely gonna edit that out. We got Ravage 2099. We've got, I don't, I can't read that, but it's issue zero and it's really shiny. So I love it. Well, this video is falling apart at the end, isn't it? <laughs> Which played issue something. We have a free comic book day Zelda. We have a Legends issue four, issue five, and issue six. This was a six part mini series. Do not have the first three. We have Suicide Squad Rebirth number one. And finally, Super Sons issue one. And whew, it's over. My entire comic book collection is now cataloged on YouTube. If you guys want to check it out, there will all be in a playlist. Like I said, I, I think like I said. If I did not say, they are all in a playlist. And you guys can go check it out if you want for your viewing enjoyment. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. I'm totally going to fall over when I stand up because both my legs are asleep. There are 10 million, 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 million particles in the universe that we can observe. Your mama took the ugly ones and put them